Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. Been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals. I go out and I go get it. How to code, that's all I know. I don't succeed, then I don't breathe. Success, what does it mean? If I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles, compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles, go take care of your business. Success Chronicles, it's deeper than just winning. Success Chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the success chronicles truly excited to have dr brandy brotherton on with this amazing lady doing some awesome things and uh truly excited to share her story and highlight the amazing things that she has going on so first off doc thank you so much for taking the time to, to interview with the success chronicles of course thank you so much chip for having me i am excited yeah. to be here and just share my story with you well let's go <laughs> let's do it <laughs> well uh i know off air we talked about your amazing journey uh you know some of the cool things that you've been blessed and fortunate to achieve if you don't mind just kind of track that journey and you know share with the audience you know who you are and and what you do absolutely so hi everyone my name is brandy godino brotherton i hail from booker texas a town of about a thousand people population total population I graduated with 32 students in my high school class. I know, so big, right? And we were the largest class to ever graduate from Booker High School. And so I have wonderful parents and grandparents and really pushed me to, to be more than what they are. Um, my dad, he went to kindergarten not knowing English. And so it was his lifelong dream that his kids would further themselves in education. And so long story short, I went to college. I went to Oklahoma State University and received my bachelor's in political oh, science in three years. I graduated from college in three years and came on down to Houston and went to law school, actually, initially started off in law school. And then I found out that you had to go into contract law, oil and gas, one of those types of specialties to actually make money. And in my little heart, I wanted to be the female Johnny Cochran marching through the prisons, righting mm. the wrongs of Let's the innocent. Go. And yeah. that just wasn't for me. And so I made that really hard phone call home to my parents who had this big dream of me being an attorney to tell them that I was quitting law school and I was going to go back and be a teacher. And while that was really hard in that moment, I had to choose what my heart was telling me. And mm -hmm. that was that law was not my calling. And so a few months later, I was in an alternative certification program and at 22 years old, got offered a job to teach government seniors who some of them were 22 years old at the time, <laughs> at Elsick High School in Leaf ISD. And I accepted. I didn't know how much I was going to make. Quite frankly, it didn't matter. Yeah. I was excited. I had the opportunity to coach basketball, girls basketball, mm -hmm. track and cross country, and then to teach government at Elsick High School. And I was super excited until day one. And the kids came. And they were big and they were tall and they were everywhere and there were tons of them. And all I could think about was how I was going to get back home. Yeah. And um, long story short, I did not go back home. I had a lot of people here who I connected with through my work in A-Leaf ISD that believed in me, that pushed me. And I eventually went back and got my master's. And was the advanced academic coordinator at Elsick yeah. High School, uh -huh. was an assistant principal at Elsick High School, was the associate principal at Elsick High School, and then became the principal at A Leaf Early College High School about 14 years later. And that's where we are today. I recently went back to school again, which I said I would never do. <laughs> and I now have my doctorate 
and I join the less than 1% of Hispanic women in the world that have a doctoral degree. So we're super proud of that accomplishment. Wow. That's awesome. Well, again, you know, I said this to you before we got on, but just congratulations to you on all of that and the journey, because that's, that's really neat. And, and it's awesome. Um, not just the kids, but the people that are around you but to see that too, you know, true inspiration and true motivation to show them that it's possible. Yeah, for sure. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And like, you know, I can relate um, <clears throat> coming from a small hometown. We were a little more than 32. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, I can relate to that. And then going to, you know, big school district. Mm-hmm. You know, you're seeing like, man, this is crazy. But then having people around you to look out for you and care for you, which really made it seem small, although it was huge. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's that's great when you can you can be placed in a place like that. But then here's the here's the good part of that, too, is those things don't happen unless you're doing things the right way. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for right. sure. A lot of self-motivation and drive yeah. and character. Yep. And I yep. talk to my kids all the time. When I say my kids, I mean my kids yeah. at, at school, right? Because mm-hmm. they are mine. And yep. we, we create a very different environment in my building. One where I tell the parents from the jump, if you're not okay with me telling your kids that I love them, this isn't for you because I'm going to take yeah. care of your kids like they're mine. And we talk a lot about character and who you are when no one is watching, when mom is not there, when Dr. B isn't there, when your teachers aren't there, who are you on the inside, right? Down in the depths of your soul, who are you? Because we're trying to create these young men and young women that are women and men of character. And so you'll, if you were to talk to them, they'll be like, oh yeah, Dr. B, she tells us that a lot. Talk (laughs) about character and the importance of it. That's cool. Well, what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? Well, I'll start off on a personal note. um, Mm -hmm. That is my family really creating an example for my daughter, trying to make sure that she understands that as a woman and a woman of color, that everything is possible that she sets her mind to. And she actually told me just a couple of days ago that she wants to be a vet and an OBGYN. And I said, oh, baby, you have to choose. You can't do both. And she looked me dead in my face and said, oh, mama, I have a growth mindset. I can do whatever I want to do. And so I would say I'm so proud to be able to really just set that example for her and for the rest of my family that really things are possible. And not Mm -hmm. just my family, but for the entire Hispanic female population, right? I have a lot of kids at my school and they'll say, man, Dr. B, just looking at you do these things is so powerful, right? Because it's sometimes very difficult to put ourselves in situations when we don't have anybody that looks like us. And so really just setting that example for others is something that I'm super proud of. I would also say that I am proud to be the principal at A-Leaf Early College High School, to lead this place, this environment that is such a vibrant and exciting and fun place to come. And with that vibrancy and that fun comes academic success and to see the fruits of your labor come to fruition, that it's not just, I think sometimes we conjure up in our mind that we're doing the right things and then the results come. And we're like, oh, no, maybe I wasn't. But to truly see that that impact through what we're doing every single day really matters and is really working. Right. And then I think that the final thing that I am proud of is to be able to be that impact to so many. So not only are we being this example, but we're truly impacting so many and not just individual people, but organizations as a whole, right? Even outside of 
my campus, but others in this realm of education to really disrupt education and say, no, our kids can do this. They are capable of doing this. We just have to put the right processes and procedures in place to see them be successful. So I think that those three things being a difference, really seeing the fruits of your labor come to fruition, and then being a true impact to others. Those are three things I'm really proud of. You know, uh, I have have one word in response uh, to your answer of that, what you're proud of. And that word is boom. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go, man. Uh, right let's go (laughs) let's go (laughs) so good um because i think too um it lights it lights you on fire as i can see us Mm -hmm. on fire when you know that the energy the effort the sacrifices the time you put into it it makes a difference it does it does make a difference and that's the only reward that you need really period yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, just hearing you talk about your journey, uh, hearing you discuss the things that you're proud of, I would consider that to be hugely successful. So, sure. so let's hit on success. What is your definition of success? Well, I think that success really looks different for everyone. And we can't put success in a box and say, this makes someone successful, right? We really have to look at the individual to say, what is success for you? And for me, speaking success in a professional realm, and that's that's the kind of the realm I'm going to approach this from right now, is that I think so often People think of successful schools or successful organizations, and for purposes of tonight, I'm going to say schools, as an A campus. Let's go win this academic success, right? Mm -hmm. And that is a definition of success. But for me, success is so much more than being an A-rated campus. Success is walking in our building every single day and giving our teachers and students what they need to be successful. And when I say be successful, I am not talking about making an A or a B in a class. I'm talking about creating young men and young women of character, young men and young women who know who they are on the inside Young men and young women that in four years can walk out of the doors of our school and be successful in this hard, hard world who have standards, who can stand on their standards and can know that they belong where their feet are. Because so often with our kids, and you know, I'm sure have some very good idea of what I'm about to say, our our population is primarily Hispanic and African-American. And so often our kids find themselves in these spaces of greatness and they have imposter syndrome. They don't feel like they belong there. And so I want our kids, I want my kids to know that wherever their feet are, they have earned the right to be there and to stand proud in that space. That is success to me. When a student can come back and say, Dr. B, I have done X, Y, and Z, and it is because of what foundation was laid in this building during this time frame with you and my teachers as my leaders. To me, that is the ultimate measure of success, specifically in my profession. So good and, and, and so true. Yeah. Um, you know, as I as I heard you say those things, um it was, it was uh, reflective moments for me. Right. And I say it was reflective moments because as I, as I hear you describe what it's like to give that to others, I was reflecting on what it was like to receive Mm -hmm. that from the people that I've been blessed to be around. Right. For sure. So, um, and seeing and remembering how that made me feel uh, when I received that from those people, um, 
it made me want to give that to others right. as well. And so just like you're doing and have been doing, you know, I've strived to do that in my career too, because I know what it feels like right. to not have it. Right. Sure. I also know what it feels like when, when somebody goes above and beyond when they don't have to. That's right. When they yes. go above and beyond to look out for you and That's take right. care of you. Right. Even when you may feel like, man, me, like, I don't know, mm. like, you sure? Like, That's right. Me? Like for real, right. you know, but, but they look out for you and take care of you. And so just like you said, you're, you're building uh, greatness, uh, you're right. building success on a day-to-day -day basis, which, you know, what it does is it, it teaches those success habits. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For sure. And, you know, I think just really looking back and reflecting they're always watching, right? Come Somebody on. is always yeah. watching you. Yeah. And I recently had a student, he graduated maybe five years ago. Mm -hmm. He's working in the corporate world. He's making way more money than I am, right? Yeah. And I received an email from mm -hmm. a company to say that they wanted me to come and present with this young man because he most important influence in his life when he was in high school wow. and to this day. And I had no idea. Yeah. Like I knew I had a good relationship with yeah. this kid, yeah. but I had no idea the actual impact that was being made. Like I'm the single most important influence in your life. Thank wow. You, you know? Yeah. And yeah. so we go on to present on the power of mentorship to a group of, I don't know, five, six, 700 people. And it was just so powerful to see and just to reflect and know that everything we do matters. Everything matters. we say matters yeah. because they're watching us. Yeah, for sure. Well, as we close, I'd love for you to get an opportunity to uh, share with the audience where they can go follow you, check you out and show you some love with all of the amazing things you have going on. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Um, my ex, I was going to say Twitter, but my ex handle is Brand Brotherton and my Instagram is Brandy Brotherton. You can reach my Instagram through my ex profile, but I would love for everyone to just follow, join this movement of empowering teachers, empowering educators. That's my goal and really inspire our students and the next generation to live their standard, to have values and to bring value into this world that so desperately needs their light. That's awesome. Well, again, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Truly appreciate it. And I wish you continued success. Absolutely. Thank you. Same to you. Yeah, yeah. And thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.